Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about oligopolies. We're going to talk about the kinked demand curve, which is a non-colluding oligopoly. They're not going to work with each other no matter what. We're going to explain that concept in 60 seconds. Here we go. Over here, take a look. You're going to make a price change. Let's say you decide to either increase your price or decrease your price. Now keep in mind, the other firm hates your guts. They're not colluding with you. They're working against you. So if you increase your price or you lower your price, they have a move to make. If you increase your price, what's the best thing for them to do? They're not going to increase the price with you. What they're going to do is they're going to ignore it. Ignore. If they ignore it, that means your demand is going to be very elastic. And the reason why it's elastic, when the, your price goes up, no one else is going to raise their price as well. No one's going to buy from you. Very sensitive to a change in price. If you lower your price, well, then they're going to match your price change. They're going to lower their prices as well. And if that happens, not that many more customers are going to come to you, so your de demand is going to be very inelastic. If that makes sense, let's show it to you on a graph. Let's get, say current price is $10, it looks just like this, and we're saying 10 output, okay, done. For the first one, if you increase your price, let's say you increase your price to 11, we're telling you that the other firms are going to ignore your price increase. They're just going to blow you off, they're not going to increase their prices as well, and the result is a very elastic, yeah, elastic demand. So the price, take a look, went up and a lot of people said, hey, I'm not going to buy from you because the prices are cheaper from your competitors. Over here, if you decrease your price, well, they're going to decrease their price too because they're working against you. So you decrease your price, let's say, to five, your demand is going to be very inelastic. Inelastic demand. Could you decrease your price down to five? You're not going to get that many more customers and the reason why is everybody else's price has fallen as well. Good, if you look at that, there's elastic and inelastic, the kink demand curve. Until next time.